Mm. But yeah, that sounded like a trunk, but I promise mm. I didn't. It's the chair. It's the chair. It's the chair. <laughs> All right, <laughs> next question. <laughs> I'm Nate. And we're doing the get to know you tag. I think I feel like I already know you, but I'm sure there's a few things I don't know about yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, but we yeah. want you sure. to know. Get to know us. Yeah, you to so, know us. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, Do you feel yeah. me? Do you feel me? Yeah, right, okay, go. Where are you from? A little place called Yorkshire. Yorkshire. From Leeds. Yorkshire, Leeds. Hi, I'm Tilly. <laughs> I'm from Leeds. Don't actually sound I am, like I am that. Tilly. Yeah. <laughs> right, and okay, you're go. from Birmingham. Birmingham. All right, next question. What go. were you like in school? <laughs> you were very clever in school and I know Me. that. We are sat in the presence of a straight A student. Oh guys, come on. You were well behaved, weren't you, Tilly? I was definitely well behaved. Yeah, yeah. No, do you know what? I was never naughty, but I mean, sometimes I was a little bit too talkative in school yeah. and that sometimes got me in trouble. What's your favourite thing about being on Almost Never? That's a good question. I'll have to say three things. Go on. First thing is the people. Yeah. People are great. I feel like we need to collab whole... on this answer because I, we, yeah, we yeah, feel yeah. the same. The whole so, cast is amazing. Like, like I wouldn't be best friends with you if it wasn't for this. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I've met exactly. like lifelong friends from yeah. doing this and doing something that I love as well. That's the, that's the second thing. I love acting. Oh, and I love music. Being able to do our own songs and covers and just like stand on stage. We kind of get into do what we love with our best friends. So it's like... There you go. That's the answer. What is your proudest accomplishment? My proudest accomplishment is finally being at a stage in my life where I can be who I want to be and not care what people think. I know it's quite oh. deep, but like I love that. for ages, and if there's any young girls watching this, I always was like bothered about what people thought, blocking people from seeing my Instagram stories, like so like they wouldn't judge me. And then one day I just woke up and I was like, no, I don't care anymore. I'm just gonna be me. And if you don't like me, then that's not enough. So oh. get on my life. I love that. So yeah, that's a great I feel answer. like that's a great answer. That's probably one of my proudest I love moments. What's your favourite book to read? My favourite book. Mm. I would say I love David Walliams books because I mean I did do You were in a David Walliams film. Yeah, I was in a David Walliams film, but I love the way he writes. Brilliant. The Midnight Gang. I read that literally in about yeah. a week. My favourite book would have to be I don't know if you ever watched the films. Lord of the Rings. Next question. What makes you laugh the most? Uh, Definitely not you. I am so funny. <laughs> I do make you laugh. Well, you see, no, I just no, made no, you no. laugh then. No, but when I'm with you, I make myself laugh. <laughs> that is so not right. So it's not you, you don't make me laugh, I make myself laugh. Oh, right. What is your favourite game or sport to watch slash play? To play, I was actually pretty good at netball in school. Netball? Really? Yeah, because I'm tall, I'm Oh, lanky. yeah, makes sense. Makes I've, sense. I've, got reach a, the... I've got a good pivot, you know, on the foot. Yeah. I, I played a lot of tennis and hockey. Yeah, you. he was like a... Go on, drop not, it. No, no, no. We're not Go on, on drop not it. Talking. Drop the bomb. Drop I did. Bomb. I, I played a lot of um, tennis and hockey when I was younger. Yeah, and were you a world champion for tennis? I was a world champion. Not world champion. I wish. A, uh, I wish. A what champion? You were some sort of champion of tennis. Basically, he's really good at tennis. Have you ever had a nickname and what is it? Nate Dog. Everybody calls him Nate Dog. Nate Dog. Tills. T Dog. I sometimes get T. I sometimes get Till Dog. Till Dog. Yeah, lots of dogs. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Okay, okay. How would your friends describe you? Well, this is an easy one. You describe me and I'll describe you. But it's not in a rude way. Just it's like, it. okay, loud. But like in a good way. Like you're very, you know. Whatever. Yeah. Big a presence in the room. Loud. Big presence in the room. Okay, loud. Um, uh, you go first. You Seriously, go. that's all you can no, say no, 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 is loud. No. Honestly, we've been friends for about <laughs> three, four years and that's all you no, can but say. There's so, many, there's so really? many words I could use. There's so many right, words. well, I've got some nice ones to say okay, about go on, you, actually. Go on, go on, then. Intelligent. Handsome. Oh, thank you. And really kind. Well, I thought you were kind until you said all you can say is I'm loud. I change it. Energetic. Energetic. Yeah, thank you. Nice uh, word. Bright. That's a good word. As in intelligent. No, 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 not as in. Oh, no. Both. <laughs> no, both. No, is it like your your energy is just like you know, you're bright. You're like a you're like a big sunshine. Sunshine. That's it. That's what I was looking for. That was the word I was looking for. And then the last one would be caring. So you're quite caring. Aww. Thanks, yeah. Nate, Nate. You're welcome. What are your hobbies? When I was in primary school, every night I had a different hobby. Horse riding, gymnastics, choir, everything. Yeah. But my hobbies now are like gym, exercise. Yeah. I love a 5K run. You know what I really want to take up? Pottery. 
pottery. I'll come back to you in a year and I'll be like, yeah, I never took that up. Aside from necessities, what's one thing you could not go a day, a day without? My basic vanilla answer, my phone, mm. but my actual answer is I couldn't go a day without my giraffe, which is my teddy that I've had since I was born. Like, I cannot oh. sleep without him, cannot breathe without him. just take him everywhere? He is, he is the main character in my life. <laughs> Funny you said phone, because I didn't have my phone for a week and it was actually really refreshing. Like, it was really nice to like not have to worry about checking my phone all the time. Like, I felt like I could get a lot more done. It was good, so I feel I can go about it's, my phone. Yeah, I don't know if I could. What annoys you? you as much as I'm loud and I'm like quite opinionated, like, I don't, not a lot annoys me. Like, the only thing I, I really, really, really don't like is people that are intentionally unkind. People, people that take that, go that extra mile, that take that extra minute of their day to, to just make people. somebody sad is just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. there's no need. I'll tell you one thing that really annoys me though. Go. Oh, Nick! I'm joking. I'm joking. He's really know. not kind. <laughs> Have you ever been recognised in the street? Have. Yes, me times. too. Yeah, it's lovely though. And I love it. I feel like I've met loads of friends from like people coming up to yeah. me in the street. I'm like, oh, hi! Yeah, and so if we... you ever want to come up, yeah. say hi. Don't be shy. Come say hi. Come say hi. Next question. Yeah. Oh, this is very, 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 very I, I controversial, hate, I hate this question. I hate when this question comes up. We bicker slightly about so this. So I think we've just kind of forgotten about it because we know we will never agree. Yeah. Hawaiian. Hawaiian pizza. Pineapple, pineapple and ham. should not be on pizza. You are just so pineapple wrong. Pineapple you are so wrong. Would you put Slaps. strawberries on your pizza? No, you wouldn't. Yeah, so why would you put pineapple on your pizza? Because it works. It just works. It's well, I'll tell you it. what, we can agree on. I love a barbecue based pizza. I used to be a kind of tomato kind of gal, but. Barbecue base is quite fire. Yes. I think you might be a bit ashamed to answer this question. How many I... pairs of shoes do you oh, own? Oh, you shouldn't have asked me this question. Oh, guys. Well, I went through a stage in my life where I bought a new pair of trainers every week. I have a pair of shoes to match every single outfit I own in my wardrobe, so take That's for bad. that what you want. That is bad. I probably, really have like, I probably have like 10 to 15 trainers. I have probably... No, no don't answer it. Okay. Don't answer it. If you were a superhero, what powers would you have? Defo, defo to fly. This is just a classic answer though, isn't it? To fly or super strength or invisibility, I've got the best answer. To have any superpower you want, right, it's gonna sound weird, but let me explain it. It's called telekinesis. Oh, right, let me explain this, guys. This is the best power. Right, you can move anything with your mind. So like you can make objects fly, you can okay, prank Millie people. Okay, Millie Bobby Brown. Da, da, da. But then also, if you can make things fly, you can make yourself fly. So then I've already got your power and then more powers. Oh, I knew you'd find a loophole. That's what I'm saying. I just like to keep it simple. Uh, or like, you know, like if you're hungry, like just food, like <laughs> appear in your face. <laughs> you just like, like make things. Like yeah. double cheeseburger. Double cheeseburger. Like, oh my gosh, I'm yeah. really hungry. I really fancy this, like chicken katsu curry, like just there. <laughs> That's a good answer. I feel like I can't answer this. Who is your best friend on set? Oh, no, you can't answer that. Because there's days where you're my best friend, some days you're not. No, she's really annoyed at me. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't say one particular person is my best friend because you're getting so well. We, we actually do. That We answered your question, but we didn't. Yeah. What is your favourite zoo animal? Giraffe. Because I've got a teddy that's a giraffe. Mm. So obviously a giraffe. White tigers are like beautiful. Insane. But they're not at zoos. No, I saw one at a zoo one. You want to take it like back to a farm? Like I love a bunny. Oh. Love a little bunny. Little bunny. What's the best place you've been on holiday? Going back to my motherland, Ghana was incred, incredible. Yeah. yeah. Going yeah. to Ghana was great because it's mm. like I literally, where, like, your family, I like, literally went to the village group. where like my family like originates from. It just was like yeah. Wow. This is where we've come. This is where we are now. And also, it's great vibes. Afro Nation. Woohoo! How did you get into acting? How did I get into acting? It was very, very, very random. I was about seven years old, done every hobby under the sun. I went to an acting class, really liked it. And then my mum was like, okay, well, like, do you want to do it properly? And I was like, yeah, go on then. And then I joined an agency. And then I got one job doing like a little kids program. And then they, they kept using me. As much as I love acting, like I'm still interest, super interested in what goes on behind the camera. You've got and costume, you've got makeup, you've got camera, lighting, sound. Like there's so many avenues you could go down all in for one job, which yeah. I find like fascinating. So that's probably why I got into acting because I just, so it, it just interested me, I yeah. think. That's so funny because my answer is the complete opposite. I, I got into acting through almost never. What was your favorite subject in school? Oh, that is a tough one. Lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Once drama! You, you get drama, it's very cliche, but I love yeah, drama. You get to stand up, do something more yeah. physical, you know. Oh, you're gonna hate me. Go on, be a nerd, go on. It was either biology or chemistry. 
I found it interesting, guys. All right, don't believe it. No, I actually liked biology. Out of all the sciences, I like biology. We're out of questions already. We're out of questions. We're out of time. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It's Gosh. been an amazing night. I've loved it. I've <laughs> lived it. It's been phenomenal. What was that word that was just like, it was fantastic and phenomenal. Or phenomenal, was that the word you were looking for? Phenomenal, phenomenal. Phenomenal. <laughs> phenomenal. Stay tuned for an amazing series three. We love you all lots and lots and lots. And we can't wait for you to see the series. Can't wait, we're so excited. It's gonna be sick. We're so excited. And we just can't. Right, okay. Bye. Bye, see you later. See ya.